Hi, I'm Dinus Nams. I'm the Director of Engineering at Geospectrum Technologies. Seabase is our product name for a family of very low frequency underwater acoustic sources. So a uh, very low frequency, there's no one standard definition, but, but the, the traditional acoustic sources would be your tenors and your altos and your sopranos. They work in the kilohertz of frequencies. And the VLF sources and receivers would tend to work in the tens or hundreds of hertz. So they're like the bass. They're all about the bass. VLF sources are a lot larger uh, than the more traditional sources. A VLF source may have to move over 10,000 times more water to make the same amount of sound at those low frequencies. So just like all of our other products, Seabase uh, is, is useful to the scientific market, to the industrial market, and the defense market. We have a number of scientists using Seabase. Uh, in one particular application, they're using it in the Arctic to measure the temperature of the seawater under the ice to understand the impact of climate change in the Arctic. And you may wonder, why do you use something that makes sound to measure temperature? And the answer is because sound travels faster through water as the temperature warms up. So if you send sound over long distances and you know how long it took to get there, you can calculate the temperature. So that's what those scientists are doing. So an industrial use is marine seismic, where you use underwater sound to survey underneath the sea floor. So typically this has been prospecting for oil. You can also prospect for minerals. And more recently, there's a lot of focus on surveying for wind farm uh, deployment. And the typical tool that's been used in the past has been an air gun, which effectively makes a big bang underwater. And it, it makes the sounds that the seismic um, people need, but it also makes lots of extra sounds that's harmful to marine life. Using the sea base in this application still makes the sounds that the seismic imagers need, but it doesn't make those extra sounds. So it's much less harmful and impactful to the marine life. For defense, submarines typically make very low frequency sounds. So all of the systems used to find submarines listen for very low frequency sounds. So we've sold Seabase to companies that test Navy sonars to make sure they're still working properly. We also have a product called a portable acoustic target, which pretends to be a submarine because operators need training. So this system uses a Seabase to pretend to be a submarine so that you can train your operator how to use their sonar without having to have a real submarine. When we were first developing it, I was working with a scientist who has decades of experience working with VLF sources. And, and he said the, the last one he worked on, which had the same performance as our sea base, it was big enough that he could open up the manhole and he could climb in and be sitting fully inside the thing. So it was massive. Typically, VLF sources are not reliable because they're big and complicated. But the sea base is less big and less complicated than other VLF sources. So it, it still has more complexity than a normal uh, source, but it's more reliable than all the other ones. In many cases, there isn't much competition. In fact, it's very difficult to obtain a VLF source if you want one. Most of the ones out there aren't on the market. They've been custom made, they're a one-off, there was a limited run, or they used to be made a long time ago, but they're not made anymore. There was a gap in the market. We used our expertise in, in underwater acoustics to make a, a novel product that filled a gap in the market that now we have ready availability for customers looking for VLF sound. I'm Dinus Nams. This has been Ask an Expert with Geospectrum Technologies.
and miss very low frequency. That's important. That's very important. <laughs> Rattle that collection. Tim, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> A handful. A handful. <laughs> oh, oh, we're racking the mods. I knew they were coming. I have many questions. Do you have questions? questions? <laughs> we're just going to start that again. Cool. <laughs>